good evening all to as part of skemcon conference 2022 uh, organized by department of chemical engineering and iacg hrc we have today as online lecture which is being handled by dr s shaktivel the title of the topic will be on functional nano coating for pv and solar thermal applications dr s shaktivel is scientist f and team leader at center of for solar energy materials arca his research area is on material chemistry photocatalysis functional coating smart materials he did his phd in heterogeneous photocatalysis from department of chemistry in anna university and along with that he visited technical university of klosterl germany as part of dad fellowship and he did his msc from anna university as well he is a member of iases imrs mrsi asci and mrsc he has received several awards as part of his career some of them are dad research award brain fellowship award bharat jyoti award glory of india gold award mother teresa excellence award and so on to his credit he has more than 30 patents around 48 publications with an citations above 8000 and h index of around 23 so with this i welcome dr s shaktivel please take over sir thank you so much yeah so today my so ma thank you so much for a nice introduction and uh, today i am going to talk about nano function nano functional coating technology for pv as well as solar thermal application but due to time constraint it is i don't want to go in the solar thermal but it is a only pv application and before going to my talk i would like to shortly introduce my uh, organization many of you know that uh, arci uh, the expansion of arc is international advanced research center for powder metallurgy and new materials so it is an autonomous r&d dst autonomous r&d center and the dst government of india so uh, it consists of it is 11 center of excellence so among the 11 center of excellence solar is a recently developed uh, center the main motto of uh, this organization is arci so mainly focusing on material development and process and uh, transfer to uh, the technology transfer to industry so that is a main key motto of uh, uh, arci and uh, so far it is you know that arci has successfully transferred more than it is a here i mentioned that 41 it is a more than 46 we have transferred and then uh, more than 200 technological solution we provided and uh, coming to a solar center so we are mainly focusing on uh, three major area so one it is uh, pv solar cell especially it is a uh, concentrating on ferroscape uh, solar cell for various various application and then uh, apart from that ferroscape it is a uh, you know cags thin film solar also we initiated and uh, and other important area is solar thermal so solar thermal it is very mainly focusing on uh, receivative development of receivative for industrial process heat application as well as power uh, power generation so apart from that it is a, we are also working on it is high reflecting mirror and nano fluids for it is a heat transfer application so in the third major area it is a functional materials and coatings for easy to for various application so especially for pv as well as it is a solar thermal application and this center has it is a you know very excellent uh, it has it is a you know, well established center and uh, we have uh, established uh, many state of the art facility for uh, developing a cell from lab scale to it is a you know uh, semi pilot scale and this is a one of the major facility we established for large scale development of ferroscape solar cell and apart from that it is a you know for validation so validation of it is a whatever uh, the component we develop and uh, so so we are validating by using of this special 
test fix facility. So we have established two major facilities. One it is a test fix uh, parabolic test fix facilities for validation of thermal solar thermal component, especially solar receiver teeth and parabolic mirror, and other uh, and also it is a thermic fluid. And uh, this is a recent facility, PV test fix facility. So we could exactly it is a monitor the performance of the PV model. Uh, with comparison of it is a you know commercial standard so that facility also we have created and uh, this is of my uh, the, the content of my talk i would like to talk about the uh, the current status of you know, renewable electric power generation and then uh, solar you know, power conversion technology so what are the challenges we are mainly face, facing and apart from that, it is, you know, what are the type of anti soiling coating and their impact and type of cleaning process. Generally, it is a people uh, applied in the field. And then after that, it is the types of anti soiling coating, what we are uh, developing and uh, their function. And uh, what are the, the technology feasibility? It's a technology demonstration, commercialization. And then, uh, other type of it is a you know anti soiling coating. So there are two types of anti soiling coating. One it is a hydrophobic, another one it is a you know, hydrophilic type. So these two uh, type of anti soiling coating I'm going to elaborate. Apart from that, it is I would like to also show uh, our recent development of broadband anti reflective coatings for PV application. So many of you know that it is a you know uh, the first person. So one, one special thing is, so he made a, a very highlighted uh, things. So I would put money on the sun and solar energy, what a source of power energy. So he realized, so he is the Thomas Alva edition. He realized the importance of solar energy 100 years before. And uh, recently it is a, you know, so another important person, it is our uh, former Prime Minister, who also realized and he made a uh, nice uh, highlighting things. The sun occupies center stage as it should, being literally the original source of all energy. So he also realized the importance of solar energy. Because of that reason, it is, uh, our solar mission is announced in 2010. Now, uh, as per it is a statistic, is a global electric power generation from renewable sources will increase every year around 20 percent percentage from the year it is a 2018 to 2050, and we will end up it is in almost so we may increase our capacity providing almost half of the world electricity generation in 2020 and uh, so this story it is a very uh, it was very interesting so in 2010 when uh, we announced it is a solar mission so our pv power generation capacity is around it is in a 50 almost nil in uh, so 2010 11 only we have initiated and uh, the objective of solar mission was very huge because in 2022 we must reach it is a you know uh, 20 gigawatt and uh, very uh, surprisingly so we reached almost it is now uh, 46 it is now this is not a 31 it is a you know 32 gigawatt power generation capacity in 2000 uh, 20 and uh, 2020 now it is say in 2022 we reached it is a you know, 46 gigawatt so now our solar mission objective is upscale the maximum up to 100 gigawatt but we may reach uh, possibly it is a you know, 50 kilowatt so that is a status and uh, these are the it is uh, the world largest power plant and uh, established is one in India. You can see that it is a you know. So these are the first. It is a you know the the largest PV power plant established 
in Rajasthan, the first one and the second one it is in Karnataka. So this is what it is the India is leading. The renewable uh, generation is our and it's playing an important role. Now it is uh, in the fourth place in the global. And uh, although it is a very positive attribute what uh, you know India has, because we are getting it is a you know clear uh, weather uh, around two two hundred fifty days we are getting clear sun uh, sunlight. So. Although it is a, we are getting it is a, in a very positive effect. There are, these are the it is a, you know main hurdles. So the anti soiling is a, one of the major issue to uh, to hurdling this factor. Another one it is a temperature. So as you uh, realize that it is a, India is a tropical country. So most of the model it is a, you know is uh, is functioning it is a, you know in the temperature around it is a 20 to 25 degrees centigrade and if you increase it is a every one degree the temperature goes higher so the efficiency it is a point three efficiency will go point three percentage of efficiency will go down so if you could make it is a, any uh, a thermal management of a PV model so we could make it as a high performance it is a power plant and uh, apart from that, the soiling and temperature and other, it is a, it is a reflection losses because if you, the model it is a comprise of, it is a, you know, the top cover, it is a glass cover. So after long exposure in the, in the weather condition, it's a high weather condition. So it will lose, it is a, you know, the trans transparency so due to because of it is a, you know, losses, uh, reflection losses. So these are the general type of soiling. So you could see that it is a product. So, so generally soiling means consist of the deposition of contaminants onto photovoltaic models, especially on the top uh, cover glass. So here you can see that it is a you know soiling reduce the current global solar power reduction production by at least three to four percent. And it impacts it is you know with at least three to five billion euro annual renew, revenue losses. So it could uh, raise us, it is a four to seven percentage in the year it is a 2023. So these are the it is a possible it is a you know soiling uh, effect coming from different uh, sources. So if the plant it is located in the uh, mineral site, so you could expect it is a you know the mineral dust. Whereas in other places, it is a you know a bird dropping also. It is a you know, one of the major uh, hurdling factor for uh, soiling. Another one, it is algae. If the uh, place it is a high, has its high humidity, and uh, some area if it is a it is a pollen uh, kind of it is soiling also. It is influences uh, very well. And then these are the it is a very common it is a you know the engine exhaust. It is a soiling. So we could expect it is a you know the area of it is a you know, uh, high waste area or industrial area and the other thing is it is a you know some plant located it is a you know closer to agriculture area there we can expect it is a more agricultural culturally it is a soiling and these are the it is a common practice type of cleaning set so generally it is a you know in india most of the plant uh, power plant it is a cleaning by manually and then um, these are some other it is a you know uh, robotic kind of cleaning and uh, some it is a you know track mounted cleaning and fully automated cleaning so all these thing it is a you know again it is a it uh, affect uh, so if you continuously practice such kind of cleaning so you may scratch because with the soiling and uh, cleaning with the brush so it will affect the transmission so after some years it is a you know this panel will lose the height the transmission and uh, and uh, it simultaneously it will reduce the it is a, you know, uh, the performance of the panel so these are the uh, type of coating so generally it is a two type of anti siding coating people it is a practice in the field one it is a hydrophobic another one it is a hydrophilic so hydrophobic so generally it is a with the water if when you pour water the water droplet it is a roll on the surface 
and it will pull the it is a dust from the glass surface whereas in the case of it is a hydrophilic so it is kind of it is a photocatalytic self cleaning type of coating so generally it is a you know through uh, uh, oxygen deficiency which creates it is a super hydrophilic effect after exposure of sunlight so it creates uh, you know kind of surface hydrophilic surface when we pour water the water you know roll like a thin film and it push it as a you know dust so mostly it is a you know in our indian condition it's a hydrophobic based one it is a you know the best option because it it has it is a you know a little more mechanical force to pull all the micron dust with a nano dust to micron dust and uh, when we make it is a you know anti soiling coating so uh, generally it is a model manufacturer or it is a you know, plant developer expect it is a, you know this coating should not reduce any transmission of the actual panel so that means it is it should not reduce any power output so at the same time this coating should withstand uh, in a longer duration so usually it is a you know modern manufacturer is giving it is a 20 years warranty so this coating also it is a should withstand it is around 20 years and should be non toxic then only we can it is a deploy in the field very effectively and also it is a very easy to scale up and it is a you know easily apply in the real field condition and uh, apart from that the coating should be it is lower it should not it is a grass five percentage so it should not grass the it is a you know five percentage of the model cost so that is a very important thing when we are developing it as a you know a such kind of anti siding coating so here see we have uh, developed a kind of high transparent it is a super hydrophobic coating and uh, with using of it is a you know very uh, it's a functionalization and it's all gel process and uh, we could make it as a you know uh, very transparent it is a you know coating with it is a controlled hydroxylation process so that is a very important because when you are making it is a high transparent coating because uh, always solgel based type coating it is a it very easily turns to it is a precipitation so that means it is a this coating should not it is a you know affect by it is a any humidity so otherwise it is a the transmission will affect very a drastic way so in this case it is a we have developed a kind of it is a super hydrophilic hydrophobic coating with a high uh, humidity stability uh, so step, uh, weather stability and uh, with the uh, using of it as a special functional nano uh, functional uh, functionalization with using of uh, fluorosilane kind of things and uh, with using of it as a you know different nano particles and uh, so after that coating we have uh, deposited coating by uh, very simple and spray and wipe coating so and uh, after coating we have uh, purified it as a you know this coating by ambient condition and uh, we check that it is a you know hydrophobicity as well as uh, the power output so the coating we which we developed by spray and wipe coated it is almost transmission and there is a no power loss so that is the reason that we have adapted for developing this coating on pv panel by simple wipe and spray coating so here you can see that it is a you know this is the uh, coating process we generally follow that So after it is a you know coating establishment as per it is a you know uh, the model uh, the durability requirement so people expect it is a 20 years so with using of it is a you know IEC standard so there is a standard it is a you know we followed IEC 61646 so it is it comprises of it is a you know three important it is a test the high humidity and thermal cycling and damp heat test so totally it is a you know 1500 hours test uh, the temperature it is a you know starting from minus 40 to 85 degree 
at a high humidity around it is 85 percentage so under such condition it is a this coating should be stand so we have developed it is 11 uh, composition out of 11 uh, there are three composition it is a pass this test and uh, after it is a test we check it is a you know uh, the water contact angle and as well as it is a transmission and power output and we observed that there is a no loss after this 1500 hours test and uh, apart from this durability test we have also tested it is a you know mechanical test a tension hardness test and this coating it is a stable around it is a you know it will stand it is a you know maximum up to 4h uh, pencil hardness test and uh, if you consider that it is a you know, high transparency means the coating should transmit at all it is a you know for, uh, and because it is a sun radiation it is in a very so when the sun it is a you know from morning to evening the angle it you kind know, of varies from it is a 15 to it is a you know 60 degree so throughout this angle it is a you know the coating should not it is a reduce any transmission so so it should not it is a you know affect the transmission of it is a glass surface so for that reason we have you know tested the transmission at different angle and we observed this coating it's not reducing any single uh, percentage of transmission when when we wearing the uh, contact when wearing the angle so apart from that it is a, we have also it is a study that uh, the thermal stability of the coating at uh, various temperature with various duration because it is in summer it is a, you know our panel it is a, you know used to go maximum up to 70 to 80 degree centigrade and uh, at 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 this temperature it is a, the coating should not be great so for that reason we have test this uh, stability of the coating and we observed it is a, there is a no degradation maximum up to 50 degree 150 degree centigrade and after that it is a, we observed some meter so but 150 degree it is quite good for it is a panel application and uh, any technology if we can say that it is a potential and viable technology means so it should be very scalable and uh, this coating we can easily scalable and we have developed it is in a maximum it is a 100 liter without any issue and up, uh, after that it is a, you know we have uh, validated this coating uh, at a real uh, field condition so these are the test setup we have established at our uh, center and uh, we have validated this coating uh, for two months and we observed it is a you know the coated panel it showing it is a very good performance so it is this test rig it is located in the first floor it shows it is a 1.8 percentage it is enhancement power enhancement so after it is a you know two three months it is exposure so we observed that it is a you know the surface morphology of the coating so here in the, the coated panel it shows very clear surface whereas in the case of uncoated surface Uh, it has a lot of soil that affects the glass transmission so that is what it is you know the advantage of this coating and we have scaled up this coating and we have uh, established coating on the large panel and also we have validated and we observed it is around 2.5 percentage and this is a you know uh, a kind of it is a field validation and uh, this is a place uh, this uh, roof it a ground mounted panel it is a you know, plant it's located in ntpc netra uh, it is located in uh, noida and where we observed it is a you know there is a there is, so this uh, condition it is a very uh, very drastic because uh, the dust deposition is more in that area so in that area this coating it is a performing well and we observed it is a 7.5 percentage power enhancement compared to the uncoated panel and we have validated around 74 days after that this technology we have uh, successfully transferred to ntpc and uh, for further commercialization so we have also it is a, you know demonstrated this coating technology to various uh, pv model manufacturer and we have observed it is a you know coating pers- performance after right after the coating as well as it is a you know after it is a you know few months validation 
and uh, we observed it is a 2.7 uh, 2.5 to 2.7 percentage in an enhancement uh, in the in the rooftop uh, uh, testing facility. So apart from that, we have also uh, demonstrated in various it is a you know uh, the uh, places. This is a you know place. It is located in the in the commercial uh, complex. So the cap total capacity of the plant it is around it is a 500 uh, kilowatt and we have established it is a you know quoting on 70 uh, 8, 72 panels and we have compared with unquoted panels for four months and we observed it is a you know uh, the performance 1.2 to 1.7 there it is a you know dust uh, you know because it is in a penthouse and uh, it is located it is a you know 100 feet away from the ground so there we you know we observed it is a less uh, uh, dust deposition so for this, because of that reason we observed it is a, you know the performance around it is 1.2 to 1.7 another place that it is a where we are getting it is a more dust where we observed this coating it is showing it is a 4 to 5 percentage enhancement and this is the one of the uh, largest uh, you know, field deployment after successful demonstration at uh, uh, in the small uh, plant and this is the one it is a you know we established quoting on 2500 panel 0.6 megawatt uh, capacity and uh, it is located in uh, at it is a BHF Trichy and the performance we observed last three months uh, this is a very recent result we obtained from them and we observed it is a you know, 5 to it is a you know, uh, 10 percentage enhancement during the uh, non rainy season so uh, because of that it is a you know, successful development you know, uh, estab establishment and deployment so we have transferred it as a, you know this technology to multiple industry and now this coating tech you know now that a uh, commercial product two commercial product established from this technology and this is in general it is a procedure uh, we instructed to so these are how this coating it is you know performing in the field it's just kind of it is a you know simulation we have uh, spread dust both uh, on the in non coated and um, and coated panel and then you can see that it is a you know coated panel so the dust it is a very easily it is a pulling out from the panel whereas in the case of it is a you know uncoated panel it is very difficult to it is a push so coming to that is a second development it is a hydrophilic so yes the previous one it is hydrophobic type of it is a coating and uh, in some area it is you know where it we get it is a more organic pollutant we feel that it is a hydrophilic type of coating would be very viable to show it is a better performance so for that reason it is a we have developed a kind of it is a hydrophilic based type of coating by using of it is a you know TAO to nanoparticles. So we have developed it is a you know uh, around it is a 4 to 7 nanometer uh, quantum size particle because it is a, if you use it is a you know particle size beyond it is a 10 nanometer so it will uh, uh, scatter the light. So obviously it will reduce the uh, transmission of the panel. But to avoid that, we have developed it as a quantum size particle, the average particle size around 6 nanometer. And uh, this material, this, this nanoparticle we have developed by hydrothermal process with the functionalization of special functional group. And then here you can see that it is after developing the particle, we have dispersed in uh, polar solvent and uh, we have established coating on the PV model. And, uh, on glass you can see that it is almost it is the same transmission there is a no very little it is a percentage it is a you know, uh, loss but it is a, not uh, uh. so apart from that this coating also we have validated with that same IEC standard and it's this coating it is a very stable against this high weather and uh, thermal cycle test
and uh, we have also uh, tested that it is a photocatalytic it is self cleaning property and after it is supporting the pv uh, cover glass and here you can see that it is a, you know uh, after exposure of sunlight within it is a 16 minutes the surface it turns to more uh, hydro feeling more super hydrophilic you can see that it is a when when we drop droplet immediately it is a, you know it spread so that is the action it is a, you know we need to make it is a high uh, super hydrophilic base it is on deciding coating and the function is it is a very simple it is a, you know pao2 is act as a photocatalyst and it uh, generate it is a, you know hole and uh, electron so the hole it is a oxidized it is a, you know that uh, tao2 oxygen atom it creates it is a vacancy that is the reason that it turns it is a more super hydrophilic and uh, so here we establish it is a coating on pv model that for uh, it is a validation purpose and uh, you can see that it is a very simple spray coating so this we can make it is a very fine coating because it is a for tao2 it is a very high reflective material so if you want to make very transparent coating so thickness it is a very important so so thickness should be it is a less than 50 nanometer uh, for making kind of it is a you know such kind of it is a you know nano coating so we developed it is a you know automated spray system very indigenously we did and then uh, so we have uh, tested that it is a you know uh, the power output as well as it is a you know the uh, omni directional reflectance so similarly it is a you know uh, what we observed it is a, you know there is a no transmission losses and power losses so this is here you can see that it is a you know performance there is a efficiency loss very less little when compared to it is uncoated and uh, recently we have established it's a, a large size automated spray coating for coating on it is a 1 into 2 meter that is actual commercial size pv model so here you can see that it is a we have compared the performance of it as a hydrophobic uh, you know anti siling coating developed by it is a hydrophilic and hydrophobic based one so here you can see that we have spread cement on the pv model and with pouring up it is a you know water with the same pressure and uh, here you can see that uncoated one it is a you know, very difficult to remove whereas in the case of hydrophobic very easy and then hydrophilic also it is a quite comparable with the hydrophobic based it is anti siling coating so apart from this it is anti siling coating so we are also working on broadband it is ir coating for pv application because it is a pv model as i mentioned that it is a, you know it coming with it is a you know uh, glass cover for protection of it is a you know solar uh, cell so for that reason it is a you know uh, so the glass should be it is a high transparent so in order to make high transparency generally it is a people use anti reflective coating developed by it is a you know nano particle root or it is a multi interference layer by uh, multiple interference layer uh, using of it is sol gel coating so we have developed it as such type of coating with using of it is a you know uh, hydrothermally synthesized magnesium fluoride uh, which has it is a low refractive index uh, material so that gives it is a very high transparency high anti reflective property more than it is a you know 97 percentage uh, transmission uh, compared to the uncoated one so the uncoated one it is around 90 percentage you can uh, get it is a you know 7% 7 percentage enhancement uh, when you use it is a you know so broadband uh, anti reflective coating so broadband means it is a, you know the coating should transmit it is a you know more a more light from it is a you know 300 to 1100 that is a you know key requirement for pv application so this coating it is a we have recently established at the industrial scale and we have uh, performed at it is a laboratory test and uh, also it is a we have validated at a real field condition and then recently we have it is a you know uh, demonstrated at uh, industrial scale 
and uh, we observed that it is a and also we have demonstrated it is as a salt preparation data because for industry industry requirement so the coating should it is a you know a scale of maximum up to 1000 liter so they need it is a you know every day it is a 100 liters and uh, so the coating salt should be it is a easily scale up so in this case it is a we have successfully scaled up our coating maximum up to 1000 uh, liters per one scale and then uh, we observed it is a more than a two percentage transmission transmission enhancement on a single side because for pv application it is a they need coating on one side whereas in other application it is in a coating on two side so in this case it is a, you know at least it is a two percentage enhancement uh, requirement for industry demand so we achieved it's more than two percentage and uh, we have uh, validated this coating at industrial it is a standard and we observed it is a, you know this coating it is very stable at uh, industrial stability as well as industrial standard condition and uh, recently we have uh, transferred this technology to borosil now this product it is a, you know uh, borosil started to produce air coated glass for uh, modern manufacture and uh, finally i I conclude my talk with my acknowledgement so i would like to thank all my team members who put a lot of effort to bring the technology from it as a lab to it as a in a commercial way so and uh, finally it is the last but least i would like to also thank my uh, former director dr sundar rajan and uh, dr padma abu and also our pre present uh, director additional charge dr t n rao and uh, once again i thank you for your patience here thank you so much dear sir thank you so much for your talk on functional nano coating for pv and solar thermal applications the discussion about the nano different nano coatings on materials was really helpful i hope many researchers as well as the students will be benefited from your talk we are expecting you for our upcoming conferences which will be organized by our department thank you so much sir